Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode and another video. For today's video, I actually got the keys to that GT500 right over there. And today I'm going to show you around it, show you what I like about it. Alright, so I'd like to give a shout out to Earth Motor Cars here in Carrollton, Texas for allowing me to do a video on that Ford Shelby GT500. If you're interested in any new cars or whatever cars they have here, hit, hit up my guy Neil. He will help you guys out. I do appreciate him for allowing me to do a video on this Shelby GT500. And yeah, check out Neil. I'll put his description and yeah, his information down in the uh, place down in the description down below. So now, back to this GT500. So, I can't really open this car. Uh, I mean the hood, because the hood won't open for some reason. I do not know why. All right, so I finally actually got the hood open on this GT500, finally. But yeah, like I was saying, this car has a supercharged V8. It's a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 making 760 horsepower, which is actually pretty good. It makes more than the Camaro ZL1 and not the Hellcat though, but well, st the regular Hellcat, yes, but not the, you know, other variation of the Hellcat, but that besides the point. This car comes with a 10 speed automatic and no manual transmission, which is very unfortunate because I believe this car would actually do good with a manual, but there's that. But yeah, just a 10 speed automatic with this one and which it sounds it sounds pretty good take a listen Alright, so another thing with this GT500 right here, that's just the track edition for the GT500. So, you do get uh, three things, or a little bit more, but three noticeable things. You actually get carbon fiber wheels, which I actually really do like on this car. You also get this uh, carbon fiber spoiler as well. You also get another spoiler as well, to in case you want to switch it out. And you also got a carbon, uh, not carbon fiber, uh, got rear seat delete, right? So you don't have uh, rear seats in the back to say, you don't have rear seats in the back to save weight. Don't have them in there to save weight. We actually do like on this carbon fiber package. Uh, well, track package really, but yeah. So you got those three notable things. Carbon fiber wheels, spoiler, and rear seat delete, which is actually pretty nice. All right, so another thing I just want to talk about is the design of this Shelby GT500, which I actually do like. This actually probably one of my favorites out of the three, the Camaro, the you know, Mustang, and the Challenger. This is probably one of my, this is actually my first favorite, personally. But yeah, I actually do like the way the headlights look. Now the headlights are actually the pre-refresh headlights that was on the uh, pre-refresh Mustang. So yeah, you got them on this one, which I actually really do like. And I like how the this line comes with the fender as well. It's like right here comes down, which I actually do like. It actually looks very good, just like this. It really looks good. And the grill opening right here too, is Chef Kiss. I actually do like this a lot. Uh, there's people talking in the back, so I do apologize about that. But yeah, you got this nice big opening right here, which I actually do like right here. And yeah, so you got this Shelby badge right here. I actually do like the Cobra GT500 right here, stamped in there. Looks very nice, very aggressive. Same thing as well, you got this right here. It looks very nice. But overall, the design of this is actually pretty nice. And I actually really do like how aggressive this looks in the front. All right, so same thing for the back. Now the back is actually very nice. I actually do like the way this looks. You know, very Mustang-ish. You know, you got your updated tail lights right here. Have a curve in just a little bit. Cover badge right here. I actually do like that. Got your quad tips on both sides, which actually sounds pretty good. You really do like the way they look in the back as well. And now overall, the back is actually pretty nice. Really do like it. And also another thing is that this car has fender flares. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, got some in the front and some in the rear too. But yeah, you can mostly definitely tell in the front, which looks very nice. All right, so now moving inside of this GT500, which, you know, you know, classic Mustang, you got, you know, bit of bit pieces over here. You know, you got your carbon fiber pieces right here, which I actually do like as well. You also got this GT500 badge right here with the Copa chassis and all that. Pretty nice. Yeah, but also you got your steering wheel, which has a Alcatara on the sides, you know, on the side, a little bit on the top as well, right here. 
and you got a flat bottom right here which i actually do like and yeah got your cobra badge right there pretty nice power shifters as well you also got a digital display right here which is actually pretty nice so you got you can change your drive modes by just going right down here right you can change your drive modes and exhaust right here right so if you want to change your drive modes you could just go right here change it and we're changing the gauge cluster well now you have to talk it up right so you got normal which is the nat you got sport right there which is change the gauge cluster right there you also got track which would change the gauge cluster which is actually pretty good because it just shows your rpms which you mostly focus on you also got drag strip right there you also got slippery right there would change the gauge cluster back and then got normal right there so that's all the dry modes right there like i mentioned before you could change the exhaust note right there which is pretty nice right there it's very convenient right by the uh drive mode so it's not hard to find you also got this 10 speed automatic right here no manual transmission just a 10 speed automatic right there as well so does that pretty cool but yeah overall oh another thing is that you can change your suspension and steering with these two buttons right here right so you can just hit that you know you can change it to you know normal sport yeah so you got normal and just sport you also got your steering right normal steering sport steering comfort yeah so you just got three uh aesthetics for your steering normal comfort sport suspension is uh normal and sport pretty nice so yeah that's just basically all oh another thing is the seats now the seats are wrapped with this paper right here but here's a little clip of what the seats look like which is pretty nice pretty cool uh but yeah this just came off the truck so that's why it's wrapped in paper uh and all that so all right you guys so that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy my view on that shelby gt500 right over there i gotta thank G uh dream motor works here in Kelton, texas for allowing me to do a video on this uh gt500 like i said hit on my guy neil he's actually the best for allowing me to do this i can't really thank him enough for allowing me to do this G video on this gt500 right over there and also i actually got another video coming up on a well i can't really say yet but you'll see soon so i'll catch you guys next time